show you today how to apply a preset in Lightroom as well as how to export a batch of photos so that um, supposing that you want to edit really, really quickly and export really, really quickly without looking at every single individual picture, um, how you do that in Lightroom. So uh, what I'm going to do is go to File, Import, just like I would normally do for any kind of an imported photo. And the reason that I'm actually doing this today is I took a bunch of shots for a client that are going to be turned into a stop motion video. And so I have all of these pictures, um, one after another, as you can see, and uh, I do not want to edit every single image. And I also want to make sure that the preset that I'm applying is right. So what I'm going to do for this is I'm actually going to um, apply one of the, I'm just going to check one of the pictures in the middle of this batch. I'm going to go over here to apply during import and I'm going to select the develop settings. Um, I'm going to actually use one of my user presets that I use quite a bit. Um, it's kind of a light, bright, classic, natural food look. And that one is my natural sharp preset. And I'm just going to go ahead and import that. Now what that's going to do is apply these edits that I have that I usually make to every single picture to anything that is imported in that batch. Today there's only one picture being imported. So if we go to the develop tab you'll actually see that um, the slider bars are not all lined up. They have already had this preset applied to them. So as I'm looking at this I'm like oh yeah that's definitely not quite what I was going for. It's a little bit too bright. So I'm going to go ahead and pull down the shadows. I may even just pull down the um, exposure because that was some crazy exposure. Maybe what I'll do is pull up the shadows. And uh, once I get this to where I want it, I'm going to go over here and I'm going to create a whole new preset called Gummy Bear Cake. I'm going to go ahead and create it. And then I'm going to go back here to import photos, wait for my uh, library to show back up, select my source, which is still all of these photos that I took on this uh, DSL or this um, SD card. I'm going to go down to all of those pictures of the gummy bear cake and I'm going to go ahead and apply this preset to all of these images right here. So I'm going to click on the ones that I want. I'm going to change this preset to my user presets and that is gummy bear cake and then I'm just going to push import. I can see that this edit looks great and so now what I'm going to do I'm going to select this entire batch and just go ahead and go up here select export and change this to the uh, client folder that I want to use and we're going to put this in its own little subfolder and then I'm just going to export and all of those images are going to be there and waiting for me when I go to put them into um, my Premiere Pro for video editing. So there you go. It's really easy to create batch edits um, in Lightroom and even easier when you create and apply presets. So if you're not using that functionality, do it. It's totally one of the best parts of Lightroom.